Hey folks, it's 4th of July weekend. Uh, well, gosh, what's today? The 2nd of July? No, 1st of July. Woohoo! So a nice long weekend. It's a great excuse to work on the Jeep. Uh, I'm in my air-conditioned workshop slash garage. Thank God it's air-conditioned because it's only like 175 degrees outside and pe all my neighbors are frying eggs on the sidewalk. No, it's, it's really hot out. Um, so uh, at any rate, today's project is gonna deal with the engine yeah so uh, I'm finally to the point where I can work on the engine and uh, I've had it covered under a, a blanket uh -oh. push that out of the way so I've had it under a blanket to keep shit from falling into the engine so what I need to do is, uh, when the vehicle was in an accident, it broke the edges of the power steering pump pulley. So this is not acceptable. I, it, it'll damage, that'll chew up the serpentine belt and nothing flat. So what I'm gonna do today is take this off. I went down to Advance Auto and rented, i.e. purchased, plan to return, a power built kit number 20, power steering pulley pump puller. I think I said that wrong. Power steering pump pulley puller. Say that five times backwards. Anyway, um, don't open it from this side. If you do, it will fall. Everything will fall out. I don't know why they do this, um, but you want to open it from the side that's not pretty. When you uh, check it out, it will probably be damaged just like mine is. And by the way, it says this side up on the the things uh, on the little handles. So mine came pre-damaged. So it's already got a split here. I'm gonna work around that and I'm missing the thrust washer. Yeah, who gives a shit? So let's get into it. You will need the little jaws, this little piece of shit, something to go around it if yours is in the condition mine is in. And then you're gonna need the puller body and you're gonna need uh, the center screw and you're gonna need the center screw button. Oh man, all these are fucked the hell up. Hopefully this will be able to work. So center screw button goes in there. It's gonna push right there. So we'll get this kinda in place. And um, this is not real difficult. So these go on here and grab. Um, one side has a thin lip and the other doesn't. The thin lip goes under here. So you just put these two, put that there, you put this here, you put that there. All right, and then you slip this ring over it. And it should just work, but it's not. There we go. So at this point, you normally would just tighten this until it's hand tight. Man, this one's been abused and abused and abused. That's the nicest way to put it. So let me get a little hammer and abuse it some more. So I want to push this I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. All right, gotta get it to the point where I can at least get a purchase on the jaws. That should be a half inch socket. Let me see if I can get one of those. I've got a six point half inch socket, so this should be perfect. Yep, it is. And let me get a wrench. Now, ordinarily we would be good to go at this point and we would, uh, the way this works is you hold this and you turn this and the screw forces the pulley off. But because this is damaged, 
we need to uh, secure it, otherwise it's not gonna work properly. If we just pull on this, we're probably gonna split that. So let me stop the camera and I'll find something to help. Uh, I'm feeling froggy and I can't find, what I'm looking for is a hose clamp. Which normally I have five or six of them laying around, but a hose clamp would reinforce this. Um, I really still feel like I should be using one, so let me hunt around for one. I totally do not have the right part, so we're just gonna do it. And if it breaks, they already said they didn't care, at which point we will improvise. And that ain't gonna work, because it's already pulling off. So that means we've gotta drive it all the way in. Not a problem. So we will encourage it. So now it's been encouraged. And I'm feeling lazy today, so I'm going to use more encouragement. It is unfortunately pulling um, the puller off. Which is probably how this got bent or jacked up. Looks like it needs some more encouragement. So now we gotta figure out why we're not able to get a purchase on this. Okay, so that's in there. We're gonna try again. I'm not even sure this kit's gonna install this because this, this kit's really jacked the hell up. Might have to go to O'Reilly and try to get one that's not jacked up because this one's pretty bad. There are two ways to do this. And that ain't gonna work. So one way looks like an eye, and the other way looks like a circle. And we need the circle looking one to be on here. And this is a push fit so all right we've tried it the way it's supposed to work and now we're gonna get we're gonna improvise
So it shouldn't take a ton. We're just trying to keep this thing from moving. Uh, if the jaws don't expand, it has to pull the pulley off. Unfortunately, that didn't do it either. So I think I'm gonna have to go to O'Reilly and get one of these because this one is jacked the fuck up. I'm just going to see if this is, yeah, there's still enough thread in there that this would work. Um, let me see if I have a different puller in my kit. So I went down to O'Reilly and uh, lucked out. I got the brand new one, or at least the freshly shrink-wrapped one. Um, so uh, a little bit further away, but this one ought to work. Like all the others, the pretty picture is on the bottom, which is stupid, but hey, this one is fresh. It's brand new. Better fucking work. That's all I got to say for it. Okay, so uh, same as before, there is an eye side and a round side. The This one looks a lot cleaner, you know, and again, this one's brand new, so... Fun part is the deposit was even less. Oh yeah, that, that fits in there the way I expect it to. Um, so we'll back the button out. I think this one is gonna work. It is nice to have tools that actually have a chance in hell. And notice this has no damage to it. So we've got that on there. And I'm going to be nice to this one. I'm going to get the ratchet. Seeing as this one hasn't been abused, I don't see a reason to start abusing it. Oh, and it's not a half inch. All right. Let's go find the size that it is. Let's see, nine sixteenths. Nope. Nine five eighths. Five eighths, and we do not have. Uh, I can't find it in in half inch, but that's okay. It should work just fine. Let's 
There it goes. It's amazing how much easier this is with the right tools. All right. That's how this is supposed to work. So now we will back this out, take this off, and we have some Press Magic trash. Let me get the other part. I'll be right back. So uh, I bought the replacement part from Rock Auto. It's a Dorman uh, power steering pump pulley. It was like 20 bucks, and it was cheap. So here you go, nice and shiny and cheap. Okay, so um, I guess the installation uses this piece. Apparently there's two sets of screws on this one. Well, gosh, I hope this... Yeah, that doesn't... that's not going to fit. Okay, so I'm using the longer one. This does fit, so I had to swap out the part. The other one had a shorter um, centerpiece. So I'm just going to push that in. That's more than enough. Um, that This says front, so we know that's where that goes. just not getting as much purchase as I would like on here driver Sixteenths. Your kit may vary. So you resist with one wrench and twist the center.
and it will simply wedge the pulley on. Unless you lose your threads, in which case you might be fucked. Okay, so I've got that nice and tight. Now I'm going to spin that up there and keep going. And the problem we're running into is we don't have, um, I, I don't have any purchase on the threads. Um, they're probably metric threads. Seeing as damn near everything else on this vehicle is metric, yeah, they're probably metric threads. Nope, and we don't have any purchase there. So the next thing we can do is we can try to drive that in. Um, it is seated at this point. Now, it doesn't matter what you use, but it matters what you don't use. So don't hit the pulley directly with the hammer. That ain't heavy enough. I, I, yep, that ain't gonna work. See what that says it is. That says it's a three eight sixteenths. So it turns out that I have a thread, and I don't recommend this either, but desperate times call for desperate measures. All right, let me uh, look around for something. I'll be right back. All right, so a 12 point quarter inch will uh, hold this. And I'm just gonna chase the threads and it's a possibility there's junk in them. It's a possibility they're close, but not quite. That went in really easy, so I don't feel like I'm cutting threads. Looks like I'm just cutting rust. I sw 
swear this feels like it's a plastic um, pulley. Okay. Let's see if we can get onto this. I'm going to repair these. I'll be right back. So, if you have taps, you probably have the dies. And again, I'm not trying to cut a full thread. I'm just cleaning up the thread so that it'll mate. There we go. We were only getting about one thread engagement before. Um, this feels a lot better. Okay. see where we're at. A little bit more. There we go. That's all there is to that. I'm going to clean up and return this to O'Reilly. So that's a quick, simple process. I do recommend chasing the threads. Um, that did seem to make a difference. Thanks for watching. I hope this uh, helped you with your power steering pulley puller and replacing the power steering pump pulley. Um, it's not that big of a deal. crooked. I think it's just an optical illusion because I don't see it moving. Anyway, um, if it is, I'll be replacing the, the power steering pump. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.